know, everyone's talking about testing, and I have to say that the work that's been done over the last 60 days on testing has been absolutely extraordinary. We're at about 5.8 million tests now performed, by far the most in the world, and you're going to see that number continue to accelerate. We're starting another round of calls with all the governors today to ask them what additional supplies they need, what's their two-month plan, what's their six-month plan, and right now we fulfilled all the orders that the governors have. They have excess capacity in their states. Yesterday, Governor DeSantis was saying that he has more testing capacity than he has demand uh, for the tests, and so uh, we're really doing quite well with that. And I always find that we see the leading indicators and, and often the media sees the lagging indicators, but the leading indicators are testing are extraordinarily positive. We're on the other side of the medical aspect of this. And I think that we've uh, achieved all the different milestones that are needed. So the, gov the government, federal government rose to the challenge and this is a great success story. Uh, and I'm very confident that we have all the testing we need to start opening the country in accordance with the safety guidelines that President uh, Trump, uh, the Vice President, Dr. Birx, and Dr. Fauci laid out uh, on April 19th. A success story. One million Americans that we know of have tested positive for coronavirus. More Americans have died from coronavirus than died in the entire Vietnam War. So I, I get that you're a propaganda artist. I get that you're a marketer or you think of yourself as one even though you're far inferior in that department to